I'm talking about sororities. You wanna you wanna um, give your opinion? I don't really have any opinions on sororities. <laughs> I'm pretty neutral. <laughs> I'm wearing the sweatshirt that I always wear. I've worn this for the past since she got it, like my, every single day pretty much. My big gave this to me. It's the most comfy thing ever. boy okay so full disclosure i'm wearing this beanie because my hair hasn't been washed in a hot minute and it looks kind of disgusting right now but it's fine you know that's just that's just how it is sometimes hey friends it's ash welcome back to a brand new video damn it has been forever since i've like actually sat down in front of a camera and talked i've missed this this is fun so for today's video i'm going to be talking about sororities because i am in a sorority and we all know the stereotypes you know we all know what hollywood makes it out to be and i'm sure you've probably seen that video of the sorority gates of hell we've been waiting for you all summer and we're so glad you're finally here <laughs> yeah that one i'm here to tell you that it's not like that at least not for me we don't scream and clap in people's faces and flip our hair that's like not it yeah i'm just gonna tell you guys about my experience with recruitment what it's like being in my sorority right now and i don't know maybe this encourages you to rush or maybe you just won't think we're all psychos anymore if you're new here be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below give this video a like and hit me up on instagram and i have all the links to like all my socials and my music in the description bar but yeah let's just get into it okay so firstly i just want to put out there like this is a little disclaimer i'm just speaking on my experience where i go to school at drexel greek life is pretty chill and we're like pretty small i know some places in the south greek life like takes over the entire social aspect of their campus which is honestly kind of terrifying like i really wouldn't want that so yeah maybe some of the things i say mm -hmm. might not apply to you but I'm trying to keep it general, so hopefully it does. So firstly, I want to talk about recruitment. Recruitment is a process, and it's going to be so complicated for me to explain it to you, but I'm going to try my best. Basically, at least for me, recruitment was separated into a weekend. I know places like with more sorority houses to go to, it can be split up into like one or two weekends, but for us, we only rushed five houses. So basically what happens is each round, you go into the sorority houses, you talk to the sisters there, and you just, you see who, you know, you vibe with. And a big thing about recruitment basically is just going with your gut. The system is kind of flawed because you only get to speak with them for a short period of time and it's hard to get to know someone that well. But yeah, so for each round, you go in, you talk to them, and then at the end of the rounds, you rank the houses, like which ones you would prefer to go back to the next day and which ones you wouldn't prefer to go back to. And also the houses do the same thing where they're like, oh, we want to invite these girls back, but we don't want to invite these girls back. They say it's a mutual process, but honestly, the houses do have more power over... Um, where you go back to because I know some people like they ranked these two houses as their top But they didn't get invited back to those and some girls dropped some houses and they got invited back to those so It's really just yeah, it's just a whole process, but for me the first round Was sisterhood round and that's basically like you go in and they just ask you really basic questions You know, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your major? All of that. Yeah, it's really surface level conversations because you go to all the houses, so there's not a lot of time. At the end of that round, we had to drop one house. Like, we picked one where we don't want to go back to. And then the next day um, was round two. That's philanthropy round because every sorority, like, has a philanthropy that they host events for to, like, donate money to. So each sorority, like, they told you about their philanthropy, what it means to them, and like the things that they do to raise money for that philanthropy. And at the end of that, we had to drop two houses. So you see like every day, the amount of sorority houses you go to narrows down. After that was round three, and that's pref round. That's basically where you go in to the two houses that you picked. After that, we ranked the houses first choice, second choice. 
and then the next day is bid day and hopefully you get a bid from your top choice if not possibly your second choice and yeah that's basically how the whole procedure went for me and also each day like we had to dress up and look more nice which was a real pain in the ass for me because i had to wake up at freaking 7 a.m and i was like curling my hair, doing my makeup, putting on a pretty dress. I just, I really just wanted to be in sweatpants, but it's, it's okay. You do what you gotta do. So just like a couple of tips that I would put out there for recruitment is like, don't be discouraged if you don't get the houses you want. I know some girls like, they were not happy and some of them actually like, just dropped out of recruitment in general. You never know, you could be missing out on a house that you actually fit in really well with even though it's not the one you wanted originally. So I feel like you should just try it out. Go in with an open mind because like, if you go in with preconceived notions, then it's just like, you're not gonna be open to having like real conversations with people. And then you're just gonna be like judging them <laughs> basically. And that's not what it's supposed to be about. I honestly, I went through it just thinking like, if I don't like even get into a sorority, at least I made friends, which is something that I would say for everyone. Like, just think of it as you're trying to make friends. And if you're not social, then be social. I don't know, figure it out. <laughs> Trust your gut because, and don't listen to other people's opinions. That's like a rule that you're not supposed to talk about, you know, the houses that you get or whatever because you don't want to sway other people's opinions. You don't want to deter them from going to a house that might actually be a really good fit for them just because it wasn't a good fit for you. And also, another thing is talk to your rogamas. And if you don't know what rogamas are, they're basically like girls from different sororities that have disaffiliated with them for the period of recruitment. So like they're not allowed to wear their letters, they're not allowed to have any pictures with other sisters or like the, the letters in their Instagram bios, they have to go like completely private because they're there to give you an unbiased opinion um, of the house and they're supposed to like help you through the whole recruitment process because it can be overwhelming, you know, and decisions are hard to make sometimes. So they're just there to guide you, you know, give you food at the houses. My real game is like, they brought me pretzels and gum. They really helped you out, so. Honestly, good for them. So what to wear for recruitment is like kind of different for every school. I know on the first day I wore a jumpsuit and a denim jacket. Like you can just watch my recruitment vlog. I showed all of my outfits. The whole idea is that it gets more formal as you go. So like the first day, some girls were just wearing cute sweaters and jeans. The next day, um, people were wearing like skirts and rompers like still kind of casual but more formal and then the next day was like cocktail dresses heels and on prep day i brought my slides to walk to and from the houses because there was no way in hell i was going to go around walking in my four inch heels that was just not the move so definitely bring slides on prep day or just any day that you're wearing heels because it, it won't be fun if you don't. But yeah, honestly, like if your school has a list of what you should wear, go by that or ask your rogue Emma's the day before, like, yo, what should I wear? Is this good? I was, I know like I was able to send pictures to my rogue Emma's about my outfit before I wore it. So that was really helpful. I, honestly, just use your rogue Emma's. They're fun. They're great. Okay, so that was really all I had to say on recruitment. Now to go into like, being in a sorority and just like about my sorority so little backstory like throughout my whole life i was so against sororities believe it or not i said i'm not a white blonde girl obviously i'm not quirky or peppy or catty or whatever personality trait that they had in the movies i was like that's just not for me so i never really had an interest in it until i started watching youtube videos of people going through rush and people being in a sorority and they seemed really happy where they were and I was like, you know, maybe I am a little interested in it. When I got to college, I went to an event called Night on the Row that Drexel hosts during Welcome Week and basically all of the Greek organizations, like they opened up their houses to the community just to talk, see who might be interested in rushing and like also trying to recruit. So that's kind of how they got me actually, cause I went there and I talked to a girl in the sorority that I'm in right now and she was so nice. She made me feel really welcome. So I was like, whatever, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sign up for recruitment. So 
I did and I'm really happy that I did because I really like being in the sorority that I'm in. So for those of you who don't know, I'm in the sorority Alpha Sigma Alpha or ASA Alpha Sig. We have like a shit ton of nicknames. I just was really drawn to it mostly because like our values and the philanthropy. So our philanthropy, our national philanthropy actually is Girls on the Run, which is basically a nonprofit program that empowers young girls and like teaches them self-respect and confidence through different activities and it all culminates into a 5k run which um our sorority raises money for and we also go to the run to like cheer on the girls and some of us are running buddies too i will not be a running buddy because running is not my forte but i will happily cheer them on that like whole female empowerment thing really drew me in um, and just everyone at the house was so nice and I felt so comfortable there like every conversation I had there flew naturally so that was just that was just why I picked it so yeah just like overall my sorority is super chill like we're all really good friends like even if we're not best friends like we still know each other I still see people on campus that are in my sorority and we say hi and yeah I really like it I've developed a lot of close bonds that I definitely would not have if I didn't join another thing that I know scares people is like peer pressure and hazing hazing scared me because like uh, like there's such a bad rep with it but my sorority has no tolerance for hazing at all, which is really good, and that's how it should be. And yeah, there's really no pressure to do anything, like, other than the philanthropy events and, like, chapter meetings, you can choose to be as involved as you want. I personally, I make it a big commitment for myself because, like, I care about it a lot and it means a lot to me, so I do my best to go to all the events and to, like, go to every meeting but there's no pressure to do anything you're uncomfortable with and it's like as long as you give a valid reason to not be able to come they'll understand another thing is like they're super um friendly and there's no judgment and at least like personally for my sorority we're all really diverse there's so many different types of people the different like races ethnicities shapes personalities just interests yeah there's so many like different people and that's what they want like that'd be so boring if they had the same carbon copy of one person so yeah i guess that's really it that's all i have to say about like sororities and greek life in general i know it's different you know wherever you go but i try to keep it as general as possible and just overall i like being in my sorority i think it's a great thing to do it's a great way to get involved on campus because like the first three weeks that i was in college i didn't do anything and then i rushed and now i'm like always busy but i'm okay with it i like it so yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to this point you are a very good human and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye